we just made some optimizations to uh, how it all works. Um, so let me just send out a projectile and <laughs> knock it away. Oh, hang on, let's try that again. There you go. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready in time. Well, now uh, I've got more control of how much it increases in speed every time you deflect it. It's just a bit tricky for me to go between uh, screens, but uh, I can show you how the code works. So now I've separated, uh, just because I wanted a bit more control, and I didn't want to bog all the projectile uh, scripts down with having code for, oh sorry, all the melee scripts with, with having code for deflecting projectiles. I um, I did do some separation. So now I've got a, uh, a deflective melee and a regular melee class. Um, and if we open her up, this is the deflective melee. Now I just uh, derive from the re regular melee, have all my projectile information here, and then um, yeah, just do the base class activate, and then I um, add on the extra functionality. And this gives me a bit more control, so I can like specify because I found out that deflecting projectiles, especially when things are networked, it's kind of nice, just in a bit, just a bit, a bit more generous, and make the uh, the radius that you can, um, that you, from which you can launch projectiles from, just to be a bit bigger. So that's why I've, I've brought this out, just to make it, you know, just a little bit easier to launch projectiles, especially when you got lag and stuff over the network. That's just a, a nicer way of doing it. Uh, and also, I removed the reflect code and just made it based on which direction you're facing. Because uh, I found out just by a bit of testing that just looked a bit better, just felt better, and it meant that you could send a projectile down and you could have someone perpendicular like perpendicular yeah perpendicular just like this you'll have one unit up here one unit down here and then you'd send your projectile out and then this guy could do the slash and then the projectile would get launched this way which obviously reflect you're not reflecting off anything so it just keeps going down so i i find this to be way way more fun which be and and you can chain them and because it increases the speed of the projectile every time by a little bit, um, you can just have a projectile war between two players, just going backwards and forth, bang, 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 until uh, someone's cooldown doesn't go on time. So I think this will just add a lot more dynamics to the game, and um, I'm really, really happy with it. Really happy. I'll get my controller in. It's easier to do it when I've got controller and keyboard, just so I don't have to click on different windows. But um, yeah, here's the the parallel shot just to show off how much fun it is um yep and um actually want you to be that and we'll make you the projectile and then if i go bang there you go and giving me about that extra space to to land that it's really cool it means you can wait as well um and then that'll change where it goes let's see if i can get a backwards and forth going on it's very tricky um, so I'm going to have to <laughs> use you, oh, I wasn't even facing the right way, <laughs> what the hell, alright, let's bring you up a bit further, there we go, get the bullet, The speed's not increasing for some reason. That's a bit weird. I am uh, I am increasing the magnitude. Current velocity plus the speed boost. Maybe the speed boost is set to zero at the moment. Or really low. Yeah, that's why. Let's set that to two. Now you'll see the difference. Um, it was increasing in speed just very, very slightly. Alright. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, awesome.